cataractcoach.com scarred posterior capsule. So what do you do in this case? Do you want to do posterior capsule rectus or do a YAG laser later on? Here's the case. Corneal opacity with an iris defect, so it looks like prior trauma. Now, you be careful. You don't have a ruptured lens capsule, right? A white cataract like this, important to ask, how long ago was the trauma? And if the trauma was relatively recent and there's a quick onset of a white cataract, that almost certainly means ruptured lens capsule. So going inside here looks like an air bubble, tripan blue dye as well, getting that painted on the ocular surface there on the anterior lens capsule. You want to check carefully that area where the iris is adherent. Now, sometimes if there is a defect in the capsule, that iris tissue can actually plug it for you. So what are the options here? So you can get a rexus done here. I would do this rexus, and I'd actually want the rexus to go beyond the area of damaged lens capsule. So I'd continue this rexus here. Very nice job. But at this point, coming up here, I would make it a little bit larger. I'd try to go around that one area. Now, our guest surgeon here, Dr. Tayab, has decided not to do that, which is perfectly fine. Again, but smartly leaving the iris adherent to that capsule there, because again, there may be a defect there. So now going over the FACO probe, looks like this lens does have a good degree of nuclear density to it. And so going over the FACO probe in one hand, looks like a Sinsky hook or some kind of chopper in the other, and getting a good kind of vertical chop, maybe the split there looks like some split, reasonable. And then advancing the case here, there we go, get the nucleus up, chop it, emulsify it, all going pretty well, so no issues so far. And here at the end, going in with the Simcoe cannula to clean up the cortex. And again, that's Simcoe cannula going in here, cleaning up the cortex, and now through the paresthesis, which has now been slightly enlarged to accommodate that. And then the question is, what do we do with this scarred posterior capsule? So let's put some viscoelastic in, and we can look at the posterior capsule. What are the options here? Now, if the patient's on the younger side with a more a solid vitreous and a stronger anterior hyaluronic face, you could do a posterior capsule rexus. And that's what's going to happen right here. So poking in with a needle into the posterior capsule, and once you have that hole, you can get your forceps. There's the puncture site. And what I do actually at this point is inject a little dispersive viscoelastic behind the posterior capsule through that hole you just made in front of the anterior hyaloid face. And now you can grab the capsule, and this is not easy to do, and sometimes not easy to visualize. And you're gonna tear a, a posterior capsule rexus. Another reasonable option is, you know, most of these opacities are not really that close to the central visual axis. Doing a YAG laser later is a perfectly reasonable option as well. So keep that in mind. You can always just do a YAG laser at a, uh, you know, a little bit down the road. I'd wait at least a month or so after surgery. I think that'll give you sufficient um, shrink wrap of the capsule bag. Now you can see it's kind of tough. With a scarred posterior capsule, it may be fibrotic in certain areas too. You may not be able to get a perfect rexus here. This rexus wants to extend a little bit bigger than desired. That's okay. Just keep it going nice and slow. As long as it's continuous, it's going to have sufficient strength to it. Now, the remaining lens cap was kind of shaped like an empty car tire, and, you know, not mounted to a wheel. And a car tire, you can imagine, it's just like a rim of tissue. So that's all we have left for this capsule is a rim of tissue. And so we'll have to secure the IOL in various ways. You can do optic capture, which we're going to show you in this case, or you can just place the, like a three-piece lens completely in that rim of tissue. And so now the posterior capsule is cleaned up. Keep in mind, too, the, the before and after the patient is really important for cataract surgery, right? The before is a white cataract with probably light perception, maybe hand motion vision. And now you're going to give the patient great vision. So even if you left the scarred capsule and did a YAG laser later, perfectly reasonable option. And maybe a little bit less stress, especially if you're a beginning surgeon. So now you've got the anterior capsule rexus, the posterior capsule rexus. Here comes the IOL. Looks like a single piece uh, PMMA lens. And this lens has very thin haptics. This lens is not commonly used in the U.S. Here I'd probably use a three-piece lens, but this single-piece PMA lens does act like a three-piece lens because you can see it has very, very thin haptics. So he's placing the haptics in the sulcus and it looks like capturing the optic, looks like behind the posterior capsule rexus. So again, yeah, there it is, posterior rexus 
anterior so no lens captured behind the anterior rexus and haptics in the sulcus and the posterior rexus is an open capsule for a clear visual access.